All right. Um, assuming all things are well, I should be live now. Uh, let me get the. Yeah, there we go. Let me know if the audio is off because I changed my audio settings around. It's a lot more comfortable for me to stream. But if I need to turn things up, I absolutely can. Let me tell people that I'm live real quick, and we can get into this. Um, if there it is. Why does YouTube not? You mean live stream offline? I love it when YouTube doesn't work. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, seems to be working good now. Hello, Lumpy. Welcome to the stream. It is not the blacksmith hammer. I'm going to be honest. I forgot that the hammer of Amos and the blacksmith hammer were, were things. Um, but to be fair, this one is much cooler. Hello, Bonfire Knight. Welcome. Hello, British Warsh. Just, war yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that word. I know how to pronounce it. It's fine. Um, let's see. So the... the to it. Of course, I immediately disconnect at the beginning of the stream. Thanks, OBS. That's so cool. <laughs> um. So okay. So I don't know how much got cut out, uh, but the grant takes fifty strength and thirty faith, which is a lot. Uh, so I'll be working towards that for a while. Hello, Mustafa. This is indeed the grant because it's cool, and the blacksmith hammer and the hammer of Amos are not cool. Um, so that's how I justify <laughs> the words that I used in the thumbnail. I think the blacksmith giant hammer is pretty cool. But I think most hammers in this game are pretty cool, actually. Pardon me. Oh, okay. Obliterated, I guess. Um, I want to try to do the the skip because I actually am using the class that's possible on. TRX Greeter. I don't know how to pronounce that, but hello. <laughs> um, I want to try to do the cleric skip because I think only the cleric can do it. Where you, like, clip out of the top of the asylum. Um, I've never done it, but it'd be funny if I got it on accident. I tried to do it on purpose quite a few times, but it just never worked. Oops. Oops. Just gotta get to the Asylum Demon first. Are you kidding me? This thing is so much slower than I remember it being. I should be used to slow weapons. My first playthroughs were with the, uh... It did not work. Uh-oh. <laughs> My first playthroughs were with, like, the Black Knight Sword and the Claymore. I should be used to it. Why does it keep disconnecting? That's so annoying. I don't understand. It doesn't dis disconnect very often, most of the time. So. Ugh. Planned. Oh, no, I'm absolutely willing to hear you out. I completely understand. Hello, that one Greek goddess. E pupum. I don't plan on duping souls, but... <laughs> Skull Lantern is a very fun and engaging challenge run, huh? <clears throat> Can't you buff it? Like with magic weapon? Hello, the Swedish manga artist. Um, do I want to fight? Yeah, I don't want to do Sun Skip. Oh, okay. So you can use Spell Swap to buff it, but you can't. Like, buff it vanilla. I thought you could. 
Um, there was, I, I don't know what mod does it, uh, but I watched someone fight Artorias with the Skull Lantern, and they shot a fireball with it like the Pyromancers do. I don't know, I thought it was Remastest, because they did other videos for Remastest, but I have no idea how they did that, because I have used that weapon, or that item in Remastest, and I tried to figure out how to do that, but I just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I mean, like, <clears throat> some of them are really good. The Large Club and Great Club are good. Um, I don't know. I don't use hammers. The Giant Blacksmith Hammer is pretty good. Who do you have? What NPC stuff spawns there? Because I know stuff does spawn there eventually. Isn't it the Witch's set, I think? I'm not actually sure. Because I know I've seen an item there. I just have no idea what it was. Yeah, okay. Hello, Slurpee. <laughs> That's a fun name. <laughs> Demon's Great Hammer does have an insanely high strength requirement, though. Apparently not as high as the Grant. I don't know you could summon Beatrice at all, honestly. Probably because she helps with a butterfly. And the butterfly is like the last boss I would ever summon for. All right, relatively unscathed. Uh, my brightness isn't all the way up. It's at, oh, it is all the way up. It is pretty bright souls, but I also prefer seeing it is daytime, and I don't have a blackout curtain or anything. Yeah, you need faith and strength, and it's an insanely high strength requirement. It's great. So excited. Uh, four kings would actually be a really good boss to summon for, Over, especially over Moonlight Butterfly. Oh, pardon me. Um, yeah, I'll probably just use the mace until I'm able to get the grant. Yeah, that's, I mean, I've never used the grant because I've just never thought of doing it. Is it twinkling? Does it upgrade with twinkling? I think it upgrades with twinkling. I'm not actually sure. Um, <clears throat> you can send skip, go kill the iron golem, and then, uh, kill Ernst and Smo, place Lord of Vessel, then go straight to get the grant, but I'm not going to do send skip, so I'm going to fight the gargoyles and Quaylag first. Uh, but it's not super late. It's like four passes without glitches. I really wish you didn't have to place the Lord Vessel to get Leroy to spawn. That's really annoying. Um, does Beatrice- I assume Beatrice has ranged spells, right? And that's why you can summon her for the butterfly, but... It'd be really nice to be able to summon for the four kings in, like, casual playthroughs. Or, at least, it would have been for me in my early casual playthroughs, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. Twinkling Finite. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, you have to not kick him off the edge. I'm probably just gonna uh, back up my save just before killing him. Just so I don't have to worry about that. Which is... I can get a couple more from enemies. Oops. Every time I use the Sanctus in like a hyper mode build, I back up my save. So I might as well do the same thing. For the grant. Is it worth fighting the gargoyles with a plus zero? Alright, I don't understand why it keeps disconnecting. That's really frustrating. There we go. <clears throat> 
Hopefully, it doesn't keep doing that through the whole stream. Pardon me. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that they nerfed it. Because, um, like, I don't know. The tech doesn't really useful at all outside of hyper mode for anything. But it makes sense that they nerfed it, just not as hard as they did. Because they nerfed it a lot. <laughs> How many? There's seven. I think one more. And then a few hundred for... I'll just kill some Boulder Knights. Oh. There we go. Why does it keep disconnecting? I don't understand. I have really good internet. It's telling me I have an excellent cl ec excellent connection. But here we are, with it disconnecting every couple of minutes. F. That's really frustrating. I don't understand why it's doing that. Oops. Uh oh. Uh. Probably heal. I mean, Adjudicator Shield is really good when you stack it with, like, Fragrant Ring and stuff, too, though. You can get a, a crazy regen build in Demon Souls. <laughs> you kind of can in Dark Souls 3, but it takes a lot of spells. And I don't think that really counts. I don't know. I count it as a different thing, personally. There we go. I tried to do a Paladin build in Demon Souls with the hammer that you get. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's the Faith Hammer. Welcome, Rig. And also Droopy Lace. I don't think I've seen you here yet. But yeah, I, I like Demon Souls a lot. The builds that you can do in Demon Souls are really fun. Um... But I don't know Demon Souls at all, so I don't know how to get those builds, and I don't know what builds are actually good. This should be plenty. Hey, Ender Titan, I tried. Perfect. <clears throat> plus five. I should probably get to a plus 10 for uh iron golem jeez i could not remember the name <laughs> um however that takes a lot of time uh but i have to kill orange and smoke too i don't know yeah i think dark souls one has the best world design The Grant has that skill. I know the AR for it isn't super great, regardless of scaling. But I can't imagine it's like that bad. I can call ONS with a plus 10. I'll just grab the large ember. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is very weird to get used to if you're already used to the other games. Um, like, I, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin was my favorite. I played that for a few hours, and then I went to Dark Souls 3. Um, and I, at the time, uh, before getting to, like, um, I don't know, I didn't get very far. I got to maybe Carithil. Um, I liked it. Uh, now I'm not in love with Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is my least favorite of the games. Um, but I liked it at the time, and I played it a lot. And then I went back to Dark Souls 2, and it was so confusing. But now that I'm used to Dark Souls 2, I can switch between them without thinking about it. So it, it, it takes a bit of getting used to, but once you're used to it, it's not bad. Hello, Scott. Yeah, I really like how Dark Souls 1 handles its progression. And how it handles its openness as well, because like you could argue it's a linear game where you have to do these set objectives in this set order, um, but the way that you can go about doing those objectives in so many different ways is makes it feel a lot more open. I don't know. 
I love the way it handles its openness and its potential progression paths. Oops. I pressed the roll button. <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting that attack. I feel like I should be better at this game by now. <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls 3 is extremely linear in all the ways that you can progress, and that's one of my least favorite things about it. Not the worst thing about it, I don't think. Um, but it's, it's one of the worst, in my opinion, just because it really hampers the kind of builds that you can do through a whole game like you can do them through new game plus but it doesn't feel like your build is progressing with you it feels like you're progressing towards a build and then you use that build and destroy the game and that's just not as fun as having a build progress with you you know like you can do in dark souls one and two oops i can just run past this guy i don't know what i'm doing okay maybe i can't excuse me dark souls 3 is the most linear of the trilogy what am i doing i got like five hours of sleep last night <laughs> Um, my gameplay might not be peak today. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is Dark Souls 1 speed. Um, with, I don't know, I, I like the speed of Dark Souls 2 because I like the speed of Dark Souls 1 and it's very similar. I feel a lot slower at times, um, but I don't know, you get used to it. I really don't like 3. 3 is my least favorite of the trilogy by far. Gale sucks. Gale is an awful boss fight. I don't know. I, I didn't have time to read the whole thing. Right. Um, Save so Night Gale's Head is really my Dark Souls 3. I don't understand the joke, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know. Early game of Dark Souls 2 feels slow when you're not used to it, but after your first playthrough, it feels pretty nice. I don't know. Elden Ring doesn't even have that much more freedom than Dark Souls 3, honestly. Because, um, like, I mean, like, you can access Liernia early in the same way you can access a lot of Dark Souls 3 areas early, but there's nothing, like, cool builds <laughs> that you can access early. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of weapons you can access, um... But if you want something specific, like, I don't know, Wing of Estelle, for example, was one I went for pretty recently. Um, you have to beat, like, a later game boss. And to get to that progression point, uh, you have to, you know, do the bosses in order to have a good time with it, in my opinion. So, I don't know. I also really don't like a lot of the bosses in Elden Ring. So doing later game bosses in Dark Souls 1, for instance, early is fine by me because I enjoy the bosses. But I just don't enjoy the bosses in Elden Ring. So, I don't know. I don't know if Dark Souls 2 is actually slower, but a lot of the things feel slower. <clears throat> like, it takes longer to heal. Um, but you can still keep the pace up because you're supposed to, like, work around that, you know? We are talking about the uh, grant. Oh, Morbin time, yeah. It's Goobin time. It's not Goobin time. We gotta get the hammer before we can Goob. I don't know if anyone currently in this stream was from the previous stream. <laughs> or watched the previous stream. We did a lot of Goobing. <laughs> Do I? I don't have a bone. That's so cool. I mean, Dark Souls 2 is warping. Um, so... I don't know, Dark Souls 1 has the most interconnected world uh, and makes it easiest to get around early game um, in, a, in, a, in a fun way. And then Dark Souls 2 introduces warping and kind of don't worry about that. Yeah, rapiers are busted in Dark Souls 2. It's great. In a good way, in my opinion. Oops. Oops. That's so cool. That's awesome. I have so much range on this weapon. I love Ultra Great Swords in all the games. It's really fun to just do tons of damage in a single hit. Can you move, please? Oh my god. Please. <laughs> Grant probably is a lot better than the Astora Straight Sword, to be honest. The Astora Straight Sword is very bad. But that doesn't mean it's a good weapon. <laughs> We're talking about the Astora Straight Sword here. This sucks. I, this, the mace is awful. 
please just let me in. I swear to God. <laughs> there we go. Jesus. I don't know. Saying that Grant is better than your Star Trait Sword is like saying it's better than your Bare Fists. Like, obviously. But, I don't know. <laughs> the Star Trait Sword moveset is pretty fun, though. The AR on it is, first of all, split, which is bad. Um, but it's also pretty low already. I need to be more careful. I'm going to die. <laughs> on my way back from the gargoyles. Is this guy dead? I don't remember. Either. It would be so funny if I died to him. I don't... I like the Grant a lot more than the Mace. <laughs> the Mace kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know if that's a skill issue on my part, but um, I tried it out for a tiny, tiny bit in a different playthrough because so I was just like messing with weapons and I realized that I had the grant upgraded to plus five, even though I never used it. Um, let's see, what strength do I need? 40 something? 30 something, I mean? should probably level that up first since that helps with the mace as well. The mace is good? I mean, it might be one of the better, like, starting weapons. But I wouldn't call the mace good, personally. <laughs> Did we use the same weapon? I said we are talking about the Grant. It's a cool weapon. See, that's the thing. I overestimated the amount of poise damage the, the mace did significantly. Grant did judo in Canada? How long ago did you know this grant? What's wrong with the moveset? The, ha the hammer moveset in Dark Souls 1 and 3? Two-handed R1 staggers Kappa? Really? In one hit? That's funny. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why I'm using it. It's cool as hell. <laughs> and it got a lot of votes. It got the most votes. I wasn't expecting it to win so much um, in the poll I did. But, like, it destroyed in the poll. <laughs> uh, the Morning Star is not a starting weapon. You get it from uh, Violent Shrine. The hammer in the title is the Grant. Get out of here. Should I put that on? That's how I want. Is it good scaling? I don't know. Early game, it's not that good. And I've only ever used it in early game. Oh, okay, we're reconnected. That's so cool. Thanks, OBS. Thanks, Internet. This is all awesome. I mean, yeah, the Morning Star is basically a starting weapon, but it's not technically a starting weapon. <laughs> you do get it in Fire Emblem Shrine, but... Yeah, and it's always not good. The the hammer, the faith hammer with the giant. Why does it keep disconnecting? <laughs> Dragon King Great Axe. As I was, I was saying, Dragon King Great Axe is just the mace, but better. It doesn't have the split damage. It has. Uh, it, it doesn't have faith scaling. It doesn't have the insanely high requirement. So it's just kind of better. I don't like it in Dark Souls, because the R1 is just basic right-hand bash with no speedy combo. I mean, yeah, but it's a giant hammer. <laughs> or, I mean, even the normal-sized hammers are pretty big. Like this thing, you're not going to be swinging that thing around. I don't know. I, I like the moveset because it feels weighty, if that makes sense. Demon's Axe? Uh, even the Demon Great Axe? It, I think it's R2. It's just like an overhead slam. We'll see how much damage I do, because I have, like, what was it, 27 strength? 24 strength. So I'm going to do decent damage to, if it has good scaling. Oh, uh, I was asking Sid if they meant the, uh, the Great Axe. Um, yeah, the 
Great hammer. I haven't used a great hammer. I've been wanting to use it in a build, but it just has such a stupid high strength requirement and it's so heavy. Yeah, I just felt like it wasn't worth it to do. I don't know. I might use it in a stream at some point, but I have a few other streams I want to do first. Um, I don't know if it has the highest strength scaling, but it does have the highest AR. I mean, the, the Dragon King Great Axe isn't a hammer, and it still has that explosion attack, so... I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's a massive weapon that does a lot of damage. Staples of the Soul series. Why does it keep disconnecting? Why? <laughs> I disagree. I think the parry timing in Dark Souls 2 makes the most sense. <clears throat> it feels the best to me. Uh, but I guess that just, just might be because I'm used to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's so messed up. I think Dark Souls 3 has the worst parry timing. Because, like, the Cyan Knights are super easy to parry in Dark Souls 2, just because it feels right. Same with the Pursuer. Um, I did spend, like, an hour um, fighting the Pursuer. <laughs> my, or more than an hour, like two hours fighting the Pursuer in my very first playthrough of Dark Souls 2, just to learn how to parry it, because I knew that would make it a lot easier. Um, but, and that was the first Souls game I ever played, so it makes sense that I might think that the parry timing in Dark Souls 2 is better. Dark Souls 1 parrying is really easy, though, too. I think Dark Souls 1 has the most lenient parry. Dark Souls 3 has the worst parry, for sure, and I think it's the same in Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Mace is at B right now, because it's only at plus 5, but... I'm sure by the time. Or when does it get a scaling? Is it plus 10? I do really like the parry in Demon Souls, but the Demon Souls remake, I don't think it changed the frame timing, but it just feels weirder to use. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like you have to press a button later in the remake. <clears throat> yeah, it took, I still don't know the parry timing in Dark Souls 3. The only boss I can parry at all is Pontiff, and only during the first attack. I have no idea what the parry timing is. Yeah, okay, plus 10. After plus 10 or at plus 10? Because if it's after... Nah, I'm not getting the large ember. The very large ember, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm just going to grab the large ember with the clip, and then go straight to in Orlando. It does the only list uh, between, or I mean the multiple of fives. Gotta love Fax Joy. <clears throat> the best wiki there is. <laughs> yeah. The only boss I've ever parried in Dark Souls 3. Oh, wait, actually, I can do 8x Gundir now, and only because I did it fist only one time for a challenge run that I wanted to do. Um, I'm really bad at Dark Souls 3, so if I do that challenge run, it's going to be a while before it happens. But I, I forgot I did parry Edex Gundir. Why does it skip to 14 and not... What? <laughs> Extra life is so cool. The Gundir stab is really easy to parry. Yeah, I know the slabs are limited, but like, I don't know. It feels odd. <laughs> Just skip straight to 14? I don't know. I feel like I can't be that much more data to input, like, when the scaling switches. One thirty six on an R1 isn't terrible. Better than, like, Plus zero Drake Sword. 70 damage, I think, on an R1. That's how I beat Quaylag like in my first playthrough. Plus zero Drake Sword. Truly really my best playthrough. I really wish it would stop disconnecting. I don't understand why it's doing that. Yeah, it's frustrating. Uh, plus 11, okay. Of course. Yeah, that's that's one really big problem with Dark Souls. Whoa, hey, <laughs> Dark Souls three pairing. I have never seen that attack like that. 
I expected her to wait until she was facing me, at least. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 is too fast to parry a lot of the time. I think that's why it feels so weird to me. On top of the frames being less lenient than Dark Souls 1 and 2. There we go. Easy game. I'm gonna kill uh, Ceaseless for the souls. I feel like souls are gonna be pretty important. Painter sword? You mean painting guardian sword? Uh, also, frame one parry frames. <laughs> that would have been very nice for my first playthrough. That'd be nice in Dark Souls 3 at all. Uh, VA proxy is like balanced around that. Uh, that's a Souls like that's in development right now, and it, it's balanced around frame one parries. Um, it's really really cool. You can parry nukes. Great Club gets ace killing at plus 12. Free soul glitch? I don't think it technically counts as a glitch, unfortunately. Though, I would feel a lot worse about using it in challenge runs if it was a glitch. VA proxy. Um, it's It got really popular because of a... They shared a clip. The developer shared a clip of parrying a nuke. Um, and it got pretty popular. Painter sword? Oh, okay. I thought you were saying that the painter sword was a different thing than the painting guardian sword. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try not to soul dupe. If I get the grant and I don't have nearly enough levels to use it, then I will. But for now, I'm just gonna try to avoid it. <laughs> I might buy, or I might soul dupe to buy Twinkling Titanite from Giant Blacksmith, though. Just to make getting the grant leveled up easier, so I don't have to run around to a bunch of Titanite, or er, Crystal Wizards and stuff. Uh, or using- oh, I forgot you could use the Morning Startup Bleed as- er, Stray Demon. That's really smart. I've done that before. <laughs> I just completely forgot about it, because I always use Bandit's Knife. Yeah, okay, so it is a Painting Guardian Sword. Uh, do you get it from the Dragon Acolytes? Because I know they drop a lot of weird stuff. Or no, 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 the, the dogs. The dogs outside of Aldias drop a lot of weird stuff. I'm sure the Dragon Acolytes also drop a lot of weird stuff. Um, and then the Basilisks dropping pretty much everything. <laughs> All the, the upgrade stones. Infusion stones, whatever. Um, I remember something weird about the spiders drops, too. I don't know, there are a lot of weird drops in Dark Souls, too. I really like it. Yeah, I usually start as the thief so I can just sprint to the asylum. Especially if I'm using like a dex weapon or something. So I can just um, black firebomb the demon. I should wait for the cutscene. There we go. Now we can go to the depths real quick. 50. So I need like 37 to two hand it. Something like that. Can someone do math for me? <laughs> I'm really bad at math. It's um one and a half times or 75% of the strength requirement, right? So that would be uh, 15 for 45. Or rather, 30 for 45. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait, no, it's time and a half. I don't know how to do math. Math is hard. <laughs> Trigonometry was the only class I ever failed a bit over. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get 30 faith now then. Oh, I was thinking 32. I mean, Cleric is kind of necessarily a spell sword build in this game. Um, especially with how many spells, like, buff weapons. I'm shocked I got that first try.
very normal Dark Souls gameplay happening. <laughs> I'm getting a lot better at that skip, though. Oh, almost missed it. Does Thief count as a hybrid class? Because it's just a dagger, right? It's just a dagger and the, the buckler. I don't think I would count that as a hybrid class, personally. Just more of a dex uh, class. And even then, in terms of starting classes, I think Thief is one of the worst ones, just because the bandit's knife is pretty bad for most bosses outside of, like, the Asylum. All right. Reconnection successful. Why does it keep disconnecting? <laughs> Thief has good stats for hybrid build. I guess that makes sense. Oh, okay, that one's not coming after me. Hi. Please, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, the dogs. Should I get power within? No, obviously I shouldn't. Don't respecting the faith. I don't want to... I guess there's no reason for me not to. I don't want to. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to. Yeah, uh, Luck in D Dark Souls 3 is really hard to build around, though, if you don't know what you're doing. So it's really confusing. <laughs> does Honor Straight Sword scale good with Luck? What does it do? I've never used it. Or in, I guess it's... Oh, good. It's disconnected. Oh, we're reconnected. Never mind. Um, I wish there were more spell sword builds in the Souls games generally. Like, Elden Ring is all right with it, um, especially with weapons like uh, Wing of a Stellar or whatever. But God, spell sword builds are so cool. <laughs> I am shocked I did that without getting hit. Yeah, but it doesn't really encourage. Uh, Pallet or spell sword builds in any way, outside of like having the capability for it, you know. Um, like the Elden Ring network test had the Carrion Knight starting set or starting class. Um, I think something like that as a just like base starting class would be really cool. That was really easy. That was the easiest time I've ever had with that. Maybe I was underestimating the mace. Jesus. Whoops. There you go. So, it needs 18 in every single stat, and scales with luck really, really well. That's so oddly specific. Physical scales with luck? That's so strange. Scimitar is a starting weapon. Is it? I don't pay attention to starting classes. I should know this. I've spent so long in this game. Um, Sends. We're going to Sends. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've played this game a lot. I want to do a playthrough with a pickaxe just because it's such a like weird, obscure weapon that most people never use. I think that would be fun to do. Yeah, like <clears throat> there are a lot of decent bleed weapons early on, especially like the um, Corvi and Great Scythe. That's one of my favorite bleed weapons in Dark Souls 3, but a lot of enemies are just basically immune to bleed. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen a pickaxe run either. <laughs> and we're reconnected. <laughs> Once I, or if I ever do a pickaxe run, I'm going to name the character Steve. Do I have... I do... Okay, one level. <laughs> I should probably get Havel's Ring so that the grant doesn't make me mid-roll because it's really, really heavy. I don't have nearly enough to wield it without mid-rolling. Even with the Ring of Favor and Protection already. Sense Fortress is probably my favorite level in the game. I don't know if I've said this before on stream, but I really like Sense Fortress. 
Uh, it's really fun to like learn. There are a lot of really hidden areas, and that's really cool, I think. I know, I really like sense. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. No, uh oh. <laughs> Alex for female Steve, good point. But Steve is so much more recognizable. Like, I get the point. And I do think I would prefer playing as Alex. But Steve is funnier, also. <laughs> That's a lot of damage for a plus five. Oh, I forgot to get a, get my weapon up to plus six. Oops, I gotta level it up before leaving. Ugh, it's fine, I can just get the cage key. But that's, I don't wanna go out of my way for that. <laughs> I'll be able to get it to plus eight for the iron golem. I guess more if I just buy the large sh chunks, large shards. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have 700 hours in this game. You like French people. Is that a statement or a question? Because it's phrased like a question. But it also might be a command. Uh, no! That sucks. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Sometimes you just can't recover from that. That's the worst. I believe this is the soul. Yeah. I should probably go to the bonfire, but it's fine. Oh, I forgot to get the other two down here. I'll go to the bonfire. I like Priscera. Priscera is a really fun boss. Best just quit out in the West. I mean, I've done it so many times because I just mess up so often. <laughs> no. Damn it. Ballista trick? Yeah, where you just parry him and then hit the ballista. Kills him in like 10 seconds. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> That's my favorite way to kill him, but I don't know, pairing him to absolutely destroy him the first time you see him is really fun. But if I mess up killing him the first time, uh, I'll usually use the ballista, just because it's fun to use. Let's see, can I make it back? Yes. I think this one chases me if I don't kill it, so. Yeah, strafe, right? <laughs> the Pursuer fight is really fun because it it teaches you that positioning is really important in Dark Souls 2. And because of that, learning to position really well is just really fun. Um, it's another reason that I like Dark Souls 2 so much because it, it emphasizes positioning so much more than the other games. Um, and like, it, it doesn't make iframes useless, but it makes them a lot less useful than they were in the other games, which is another reason I don't despise ADP like so many people do. I really like ADP as a mechanic. I think it's slept on as to how much it really changes Dark Souls 2 for the better. This is true. Dark Souls 2 is much better than Dark Souls 3. How many? Seven. I need two more. I don't remember if it's 2,000 or 4,000 each. 4,000. That's so cool. Shut up. Do I have souls? Oh, I have bossles. I have a bossle. <laughs> yeah, forget. Forget. Plus 10. I could get plus 11 if I had the very large number, but I don't want to get that. <laughs> you 
Needing 50 strength is so annoying. I hate that it needs 50 strength. Especially since this scaling soft cap is 40. That's so annoying. Ugh. Why can't it be 50 faith? At least that's the actual soft cap for that one. Well, see, the thing is, I don't like Dark Souls 2 because I dislike Dark Souls 3. I just happen to dislike Dark Souls 3 for the opposite reasons that I like Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 does so many good things, and then Dark Souls 3 walks back on all of them. <laughs> um, hopefully I can avoid this. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, never mind, we're fine. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, they do have more consequence, but you can only hollow so much. Um, and I feel like you should be trying to get used to... I need to climb back up, although I don't. Um, I feel like you should try to get used to having the lower health anyway. Um, it's it's a lot like embering in Dark Souls 3. How Dark Souls... Or how you if you die while embered, you won't be embered anymore. Um, but it's a little bit more intense if you don't have the... The ring on. There is no power stancing in Dark Souls 3, and it sucks because power stancing is like the coolest thing. It's awful. Uh, ADP does include consumable use, doesn't it? Does it only affect Estus use? Because <laughs> if it only affects Estus use, that's slightly less cool than I thought it was, but I thought it uh, influenced all item use speed. This isn't a challenge. I'm just using the grant. I need to get the grant first, obviously. Um, but this is just a more casual playthrough with the grant, because I like showcasing weapons that people don't use very often. Dark Souls 3 has some really good bosses. Like Dancer? Awesome. Uh, Demon Princes, Twin Princes. Um, really fun. Friday's alright. <laughs> um, Abyss Watchers are a cool idea. But there are just so many things about all the other bosses that are awful. I don't even like the Abyss Watchers. But they have, they're a cool idea. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 has much, much worse ganks than Dark Souls 2. And the thing about Dark Souls 2 ganks is it teaches you how to, like, how to manage them, you know? Um, so Dark Souls 2 will gank you a lot in the early game. So you know to look out for ganks. You understand where enemies can hide. You understand that you're supposed to not get cornered. You learn crowd control. Um, and the Dark Souls 3 doesn't do that at all, and it still ganks you. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> yeah, it... ADP increases... Okay, so it does increase consumable speed. That's what I thought. Um, yeah, but the, the main thing is definitely iframes for most people. Wait, it only affects healing items, so it doesn't affect, like, firebomb throw speed or whatever? DS2 is very about patience. That's a good point. Uh, and if you're not patient, you're probably not going to like Dark Souls 2 as much. That was my first Souls game, and I immediately fell in love with it. Primarily because of the atmosphere, especially, like, Medjula. Oh my god. And then, like, the atmosphere encouraged me to keep going. Because I loved it so much. Um, I usually get, like, 24 ADP and just never touch it again. <laughs> if I even level ADP at all in a Dark Souls 2 playthrough, but I don't play Dark Souls 2 very much. I want to, I want to play it a lot more, but I'm really bad at it, so I don't play it very often. <laughs> what are that? <laughs> Welcome. I think Hides is more pretty than Majula, to be honest. But I do like the vibe of Majula a lot more. I think that just has to do with the music, though, which feels kind of unfair because most areas in Dark or in the Soul series generally don't have doesn't have don't have music. Yeah, I used the right word. I'm tired. Wow, that was actually crazy damage. <laughs> Thoughts on Iron Keep? Uh, I like it. I don't. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. I don't dislike it. I like the vibe. Um, I like, I don't like fighting the enemies individually, but I like how they use the enemies and how it expects you to know crowd control very well. Um, I really like Iron King, the old Iron King as a boss fight. I don't really like it. I do kind of like it though. It's a fun boss fight and I don't think it's like a bad boss fight. 
Um, and it's one of my favorite of the four lords. Not that the four lords are super amazing or whatever. And uh, Smelter Demon is one of my favorite bosses in the game. I don't know. Majula is pretty pretty. I would argue that Majula is much prettier than I am. <laughs> the the run back isn't that bad. I don't know. You can definitely get in there without fighting any of the enemies. It can be a little hard, but it's not that bad. I did not fall in the hole. Only because I knew about it because I was watching Dark Souls like boss ranking tier lists or whatever. So many people were like making memes about the hole, so I just knew about it and knew to be careful of it. But I have fallen it a couple times after that. Dark Souls 2 is pretty long, but I don't think it goes on too long. Like, especially if you don't engage with any of the optional stuff. It's the longest of the trilogy, but it's not... I don't know, that's not saying much, because Dark Souls 1 is like a 4-hour game, and Dark Souls 3 is like a 6-hour game at most. And the new game plus in Dark Souls 3 goes by super fast, too. Oops. Ugh. That's so cool. Can you... Thank you. I really like Smelter. And then I don't like the run back. It's all that bad. But getting to it in the first place, like pulling the lever, is going to be frustrating. But outside of that, it's not that bad. Dark Souls 2 DLC isn't great, other than Shulva. <laughs> um, the other two DLC are awful. Um, all the optional stuff in Shulva is awful. But I do really like Shulva itself. The bosses there are really fun. Uh, but the DLC are very, very long. Especially Iron King. Reindeer Valley? It sucks. It's the worst area in Souls. But I would rather fight Leden Zolin than Gale. <laughs> so, I don't know. Not my least favorite thing in Souls, but it's pretty close. Uh oh. Why did I fall so fast? What? How many hours do I have in Dark Souls 1? About 700. New Game Plus in Dark Souls 2 is the best New Game Plus in any of From Souls games by far. I love it. It's so much fun to just like re-experience the world. And then like Scholar of the First Sin is like New Game Plus for Dark Souls 2 vanilla. But I mean I started with Scholar of the First Sin so I prefer it. I know a lot of people don't like Scholar of the First Sin as much as vanilla. But I personally prefer it to vanilla a lot. Let's see, I have over 500 hours. Oh, hi. How did you not take fall damage? What? Um, yeah, I have over 500 hours on Dark Souls 1 on Steam. And then I have like 70 hours on Switch. I have 70 hours in Prepare to Die on Steam, if you include Remast Dust. Um, and I, th I would include mods. I think that counts. Because, like, I have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hours in Minecraft, and a lot of that is modded, but it's still Minecraft. <laughs> I think the same thing applies to Dark Souls. Um, and then I have another s several hours on, like, PlayStation. Actually, I think I have closer to 100 hours in Prepare to Die on Steam because of Remastest. Test. I don't know. I have a lot of time in Dark Souls. At, uh, almost, at least almost 700 Ugh. That's messed up. What? I'm pissed. And then if you include, like, or and then Dark Souls 2, I have, like, 250 hours in. Dark Souls 3, I have about 200 hours in. Um, Actually, Dark Souls 2, I have almost 300 in because of vanilla. I always forget to count vanilla. Because I mostly play Scholar. Um, Dark Souls, yeah, Dark Souls 3, 200. Bloodborne, about 100. Um, Elden Ring, about 350-ish. If not, a little bit more. Who do I romance in Stardew Valley? Um, Penny, usually. Oh, I have about 50 hours in Demon Souls, too. And then, like, 80 in Sekiro? Is Prepare to Die any different? Um... No. <laughs> I mean, like, there's a lot of quality of life stuff in Remastered, and I would highly recommend playing Remastered over Prepare to Die. Um, but Prepare to Die is very good for, like, modding and stuff. That's, like, the main thing that most people want Prepare to Die for. I wouldn't recommend casually playing Prepare to Die. I don't ever casually play Prepare to Die unless I'm, like, 
playing on my Steam Deck and I don't want to overwrite my, my remastered characters or whatever. <laughs> Alright, I romance Penny because we have similar traumas. <laughs> and also, she's really cute. Can you fix Shane, though? I don't know. One thing you dislike about Dark Souls 2 is the starting classes. What's wrong with starting classes? I think some of them are really good. The, um, I think it's the warrior has the broken sword, and that one's kind of weird. Um, and then, like, I think the explorer is really cool and unique, for instance. Um, the knight is, like, just a good overall starting class. I think the Dark Souls 2 knight is better than our Dark Souls 1 knight. I don't know. I like a lot of the uh, starting classes in Dark Souls 2, even if I don't remember most of them. <laughs> uh... I mean, I, I don't get tired of it, first of all, because of autism. I think that's the biggest one. Um, I need eight of these. But I also just, like, play it differently every single time. Um, so it's not like I'm just doing the same thing over and over, right? Oops, that's not... Dang it. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's hard to say that I'm just, like... It's it's not a tedious game for me. Deprived is the best. <laughs> I like that the Deprived actually is Soul Level 1 in Dark Souls 2. I'm glad they changed that. That was a good change. Though Pyromancer is really fun to start as a Soul Level 1 just because of its other buffs, you know? And he can fix you, huh? I'm sure if you are somehow able to fix him, then he can fix you. Perfect. Yeah, Dark Souls 2... Having power stancing is like one of the coolest things about the game. Fashion souls in Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 has my favorite fashion souls. Not even close. Um, the oh, I forgot what it's called. Favorite. Oh. Oh, okay, where are you connected? My favorite armor in Dark Souls 2. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like it's like a knight set, but it's not Dark Souls 2. Or but it's not like the the box art. Dark Souls 2 box art. No, you can use um, a bunch of melee weapons in Soul of One. Um, the best is probably the Reinforced Club or the Giant Blacksmith Hammer. Oh, Fire Reinforced Club specifically. But Pyromancy is really, really good um, in Soul of One. It's, Jesus Christ. Ugh. We're good. Okay, I shouldn't have got hit by that. That was pure greed. Oops. Okay, I was looking at chat while I was standing up. <laughs> it's not the Alpha set or the Sorolan set. I think, I think it is a base game set. Yeah, Elden Ring has some cool armor sets, but none of them, none of the cool ones are useful. They're just not good. The invisible armor set. I do really like that one personally too. Yeah. Uh, it's blue. It's like a blue night set. I think it's blue. I don't know. It's been a long time. <laughs> I don't usually get it. If I find it in a casual playthrough, I'll use it. But otherwise, I don't like specifically go out of my way looking for it. Like the brass set can, is my favorite in this game, and I just never use it. I don't know. I kind of wish they had like how you could change the visuals without actually changing the stats. Uh, I don't remember or what that's called. There's a name for it. That's so cool. Excuse me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I should pay attention to the boss instead of reading chat while fighting what is widely considered one of the hardest bosses in the game. Ugh. No, it's not glamour. There's There's a specific name for it. Oops. Uh oh. Okay. That would have been a wombo combo if Ornstein had hit me there. Just gonna go ahead and. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop scooping! Please! <laughs> I'm begging you. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to the video game for a second. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, there we go. I am so glad you finished that soon. 
It would have been so annoying to run into that and die to the lingering hitbox. I don't think I've ever died to it, but I have gotten hit by it. Uh, it's dual wielding. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 dual wielding, but it's not like paired weapons in Dark Souls 3. Um, you can dual, or you can power stance. Oh, any two weapons from the same, like, weapon class. I don't know if they have to be the exact same weapon class, or you can do, like, similar classes. I'm not sure. And you just need, like, time and a half uh, requirements of the highest requirement weapon that you're stancing, power stancing with. Um, so a little bit more complicated than like Elden Ring power stancing, but cooler in my opinion. <laughs> I like Dark Souls 2 over Elden Ring in pretty much all its execution. It makes sense that you would need more stats to power stance, and they removed it for convenience. Which I mean, I don't know, I get it. Okay, so just similar weapon classes. So like, could you use, um. Like a straight sword and a car sword, for instance. Oh yeah, no, because the Cystus and the Bone Fist are the same weapon class, right? Oh, Fury Sword, that's cool. Um, they're both fist weapons, so you, you can power stand some. Uh, eight, eight more faith. Dang it, so close. <laughs> Like a refreshing bowl of cereal. Scooping me. Smo does the scoop. Did I say Ornstein? I might just say Smo. Straight sword and curved sword do max. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, so the, the swordsman starting class, you can power stance those weapons. You just can't with the starting stats. Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, right, because you can do the... 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 Not smelter. Um, fume ultra great sword with the straight sword, right? Right. Now we actually get our weapon. The whole point of this stream. <laughs> Dueling rapiers is really fun. I don't know if it's good, but it's really funny <laughs> and fun to use. Do I have any humanity? There's humanity right here. I already got it. Okay. I have humanity. I need to place the Lord Vessel. I was totally about to just run straight down to the catacombs without going to Lord Vessel. I would have completely forgotten. Uh, you can't get it before placing the Lord Vessel. It's It doesn't... Paladin Leroy does not invade you until after you place it. Despite invading outside of the Lord... Or outside of the Fog Gate. I don't know. It's really annoying. It's one of the worst things about using the Grant. It's probably the worst thing about using the grant besides the requirements, honestly. Double the meta. <laughs> um, well, it uses one-handed stats, so like two-handing a rapier does crazy damage. Um, but if you're power stancing, you're using the one-handed stats for both hands. Uh, but I think it is... It's still like more damage, but it also uses a lot more stamina, so I don't know if it's actually better. Dual wielding ice rapiers would be funny. Ricard's rapier is good in Dark Souls 2, and then they obliterated it <laughs> in Dark Souls 3. <laughs> nice in peace. <laughs> is there a weapon like Ricard's in Elden Ring? And is it good? Or is it awful like Dark Souls 3? It's not like awful, awful in Dark Souls 3, but it's not nearly as good as it was, which makes sense. But it's also really disappointing. Can you not? Jesus. So that skeleton doesn't obliterate me. <laughs> I'm gonna drink water. We're an hour into stream. Haven't drank any water. Don't even have the main weapon I want to use for this stream. Alright. First water of the stream. <laughs> YouTube needs that, that, I don't know if it's like a feature on Twitch, but the, how you can have like a hydrate button to donate, <clears throat> like how you get currency as you build, or as you watch a streamer. 
and then you can remind them to hydrate for a certain amount of currency. We should have that, but not requiring currency because I need to hydrate way more often. <laughs> DS1 S-Doc? Is that even good? I used the Rapier at one point, but I don't think I ever used the S-Doc. Oh, that's not good. I should have summoned Leroy. Uh-oh. Good. I'm just gonna run. It's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, Tano points. And you can remind me to hydrate. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Thank you for offering. Oh, jeez. They all did they all three use that jump fireball at the same time? Did my stream cut out right as they were using that? And then come back in right as I asked if they used that? That's so messed up. That's so mean. Yeah, I got lucky and used a really good weapon in my first playthrough. Claymore, my child. I think I used Black Knight Halberd at some point as well. In like my first new game plus. Yeah, rest in peace. YouTube is evil. Definitely YouTube's fault. Not, I don't know if it's my internet, to be honest. It might just be a combination of, like, OBS and YouTube. It's probably mostly OBS. I don't think it's my internet, because it has a really good connection. It never cuts out. It might just be, like, micro cutting out. Oops. Um. <laughs> it might just be, like, cutting out for just, like, a split second, and OBS can't keep it connected over that time. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Because it does take, whoops, um, a few seconds. That was instant death. It does take a few seconds to reconnect. OBS does. Um, it doesn't just like instantly reconnect. That's so mean. I can't believe that was instant death. They should have moved the the death plane just a slight bit down so that that didn't happen to me in the future. They should have had a diviner on the dev team. Diviner? Seer? I don't know. <laughs> Someone who can see the future. Should probably be looking at the screen more rather than chat, to be honest. I love that they explode when you kill them. <laughs> um, is it this game that the skeletons explode into like three rib cages? Uh, I have not played it. I've not played the Dark Souls Three Archstone Archthrones mod because I don't like Dark Souls Three. <laughs> um, and I saw the trailer and they added a bunch of really annoying enemy move sets. Um, from like Elden Ring, like some of the enemies that they showcase. In the trailer are uh, the Crucible Knight, there's the Godskin Noble? No, the other one. Apostle. Godskin Apostle moveset. Um, there's some random enemy with the Orphan of Koss Phase 2 moveset. I'm like, what? It's just a lot of really annoying movesets that I don't like. Um, thrown on enemies in a game that I don't like. So, I'm really not interested in it. There we go. Is that Dragon Tooth? I hate the Crucible Knights so much. They're so annoying. Rogier's is similar. I guess it is, huh? I didn't use it all that much. Um, there is that that set that weapon art that mimics the Godskin Noble like multi stab, right? Is that on the Godskin Noble's needle or whatever it's called? I assume it is. I don't know. I've never used it. Yeah, repeating thrust. I think. I assume. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Watch the skeleton dog come up. Uh, it's not worth it. I'm just going to quit out right now. <laughs> Black Knight would have chased me down anyway. I, default on Rajiera's is the Glint Blade Phalanx, I think it's called. I need a couple more faith, and I don't have enough. Um, that's why I always get Rajairs, because it has a really, really good weapon art. And that's the, the magic one. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I should probably use a humanity. I'm gonna go ahead and back up my save as well. Yeah, it comes pre-infused, but it also has the, the Glint Blade Phalanx weapon art on it. That's the only reason I ever grab it. At least that's how I get the weapon art. I don't know if it like comes on it or what. Um, but it definitely has it when you get it. Okay, Dark Souls Remaster, 2-5. That's my Steam ID. <laughs> oh, okay. So it doesn't come with it. And we're back. <laughs> I wish I tried to reconnect instantly instead of just... um. Yeah, see, that's why I packed up my safe. I wish I tried to reconnect instantly instead of waiting like eight seconds or whatever. All right. Uh, I can't imagine Leroy is going to be difficult to kill. But who knows? Where am I? Not where I... Oh, I have 700 hours in this game. I know it so well. <laughs> I navigate the Tomb of the Giants without a light source all the time. It's so easy. I never fall off the cliff. Usually, unfortunately, I am on five hours of sleep and I'm going to use that as an excuse and I'm going to milk it. Um, okay. <laughs> I thought I was a little bit more forward than I was <laughs> at the last second. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. I shouldn't be streaming, I know. Might as well be drunk. I'm that tired. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> this is the one. This is the hardest Dark Souls challenge run I've ever done. Okay, this thing. Yes, okay, this is the path now. I thought it was past the first pillar, and I don't know why, because I've done this so many times. Uh, but it's past the second pillar. Yeah, and this has the ladder. The ladder that goes down. As opposed to the ladder that goes sideways. No, 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 this is a challenge run. There's no other reason that I would have died so many times. I'm actually uh, playing this with my feet right now. Or something. Playing on keyboard only. Ladders can go up, but if they go down, that implies they also go up. Hello, Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1 PvP. <laughs> GG. All right. Um, right. I'm going to not fight Nito yet. I'm going to go level up the weapon. I should be able to get a plus five right now, right? Yeah, I want to like Elden Ring so bad, especially since the DLC is coming out soon. Like, I want to want to play the DLC, but I just don't because I'm not that interested in Elden Ring. I don't know. It's tragic. Reinforce Grant. Uh, that is why I'm here, for you to live vicariously through me, using weapons that you've never used or have wanted to use and have not. Oh god. <laughs> I love mid-rolling. This is so cool. Um, god, I'm so tempted to just dupe souls to get enough strength and stuff. But I mustn't. I must resist the temptation. I'm going to go kill Havel. I mean, you, you still have the jump attack. It's not like you don't have a good R2. Jump attack is usually better than standard R2 anyway. Oh, I'm going to get Havel's ring right now. Yeah. <laughs> I see never mind right as I see that. That's absurd. The special R2 is a like an explosion attack. It takes a lot of durability, and I forgot to buy the repair box, so I'll show it off once I buy the repair box. <laughs> you go to grant puns? Um, I grant you death. That's the best I got. 
<laughs> so charity organization. I'm not good with puns. I can do jokes. So I just, okay, I swear to God. <laughs> the concurrent viewers went down by like seven people left the stream right after I said I grant you death. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's really funny. Well, people are pressing the heart emoji. I always forget that's there. That was really funny. I can't believe so many people left. Yeah, I got the big hammer. We finally, after an hour into the stream, I have the entire point of it. Oh, and people came back. There are now more viewers. Strike damage is good. I wouldn't know. I've never used strike damage. Or I've never intentionally chosen to use strike damage. God, mid roll, mid roll, mid roll running is so slow. Hey, I will. Bonk. Oh, we're good. This is the R two. That's not terrible damage. At least. Yeah, but my hammer's cooler. It may do less damage, technically. Still mid-rolling. That's awesome. What's my... 88. I need, like... Or I need 12 more max equipment. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. My hammer's cooler. Even if it technically does less damage, it's still cooler. Yeah, that's, like, the entire point of the grant. Um, it takes, like, 50 durability or something. Let's see. How much durability does it have? Yeah. It takes 200 durability? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so much more than I was expecting. That's a really fast running attack. I was not expecting it to be that fast. Bunga bunga, indeed. Wog is an obscure slur. See, the thing is, if I'm not using it as a slur, like if I say I'm going to twink in Dark Souls, right? That means I'm going to go and... Um, fight, love, fight in a very underleveled area for what where I should be fighting. But it's not like I'm being homophobic when I say that. I mean, even if I wasn't gay. <laughs> uh, lesbian. I don't know. I, I don't think uh, Twink can apply to lesbians. A slur for Italians. <laughs> Well, that's besides the point. I'm not saying I'm twinking. I'm saying that lesbians can't twink. Because that's a gay thing, right? Isn't it? I don't know if it applies to trans girls, though. Why am I talking to? I don't need you. <laughs> Jesus, that did so much more damage than I was expecting. Rest in peace. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> I don't know why I was talking to him. And then I decided to do that. And now I feel bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. I'm so sorry. Here's armor. I, I will never fast roll with the armor. Not the hot himbo. <laughs> I mean, I have shot Solar in the head before. It was kind of funny. I, I, I did feel bad then as well. I should learn my lesson, honestly. Um, I'm just going to dupe souls and get higher endurance. It's not, that's not worth it. Uh, I need heroes. I don't hurt Solar every playthrough. I did it in like, I've done it in like three playthroughs. It's not that many. Um, oh, I should probably repair this, actually. And then... What do I want to buy? Arrows. I don't have ADHD. I, I'm not, I can't wear his armor. I'll never win. 
If I wear the armor. Based? That's <laughs> the one that uh, sticks out among the crowd. I don't want this playthrough to take years. Bonk. Look, I, I understand that you're upset because I killed Solaire. But did you ever consider... Yeah, I bet you didn't think about that. <laughs> I don't know, it's fine. It was, it's just, it's fine. We'll be back next playthrough. Time is convoluted. It's fine. Oops. Come on. I shouldn't be bad at this. I do this so often. There we go. <laughs> That's a lot more souls than I was expecting. <laughs> um... Okay, endurance. I need about 100. That should be enough. I'm gonna get the more strength as well. And then, I don't know, vitality. 230. Perfect. Um, oh, I'm blind. Let's see. How heavy is this? Okay, nope. <laughs> Sorry, no Slayer armor. <laughs> yeah, there are other ways to soul dupe. That's just the way that I learned how, so that's the way I do it. I won't be leveling for the rest of the playthrough, I guess. <laughs> Though, not really any reason to. Um, I'm gonna go kill the Hydra. And I'll do the Duke's Archives. There's no particular reason for that order. Well, that has the spin? I didn't know. Nope, and we're back. The Hydra is extremely annoying to fight. I agree wholeheartedly. Oops. Um. Anyway, I was saying that this thing has a cool moveset. Because it has, like, the, the spin combo, you know? That's, like, the coolest thing on Hammers. And then the roll attack is, like, a slam into the ground. And of course, you got the giant hammer... Oops. The giant hammer uh, slam into the ground and all that. I like this moveset. It's fun. What's a one-handed moveset? I can't imagine it's good. Does it spin? Okay, never mind. It's, it's a good moveset. Everything's fine. The run-up to Hydra is definitely the worst part of it. How'd I miss what? What did I miss? Am I blind? Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the run to the Hydra is the worst part, for sure. Yeah, I mean, big sticks are funny, though. I like using big sticks in this game. Like Giant Club. Or whatever it's called. Hello, Just Soapy. It clearly... Oh, oh, I see, yeah. Uh, I think I was a little too far away, but who knows? I should be killing these guys instead of just running. That's a pretty fast running. Okay, thank you. Easy game. <laughs> never, uh, never would die ever in this game. I do love big, big sticks. In multiple contexts. Ugh. That, I think that was a lot of damage. I wasn't looking too hard enough to see. Uh, no, that's fine. Rolling attacks are fun, though. <laughs> 
No, no, no. Uh, the great club in Dark Souls 1, I mean. The big stick. Four hits. Not bad. I was told this thing wasn't good. It's still alive. <laughs> okay. The grant sucks. Worst weapon in the game. <laughs> I didn't think it was still alive. It has so little health. Oops. That's not going to reach. It reached. The Great Club in Elden Ring is a branch from the Earth Tree? Is that, like, lore? Or... But the one in Dark Souls is cool. It's funny. Big stick. Like, it's literally just a giant stick. McGrant from McDonald's. <laughs> oh, you can't infuse it, right? I mean, a heavy infused crate club is way cooler, to be honest. I've never used a crate club in a ring. I had no idea it did holy damage. I know Dark Souls 1 mechanics really, really well, but I don't know anything about the lore from any of the games. Like, I probably know more than the average person just because I've played the game so much, but... Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, I was not expecting the 180 spin. Divine Demon Hammer. That seems like an oxymoron. Um, I don't have bones. Used to not scale with faith, but it did holy damage. That's so cool. Other thing is so good. <laughs> like I know they updated it, but Moines hammer. I think I think my favorite hammer in any of the games in concept is the drain hammers. It's so cool to be able to like two hand or to like dual wield hammers, especially fast ones. That's really funny. But if I remember correctly, the drain hammers aren't great. I don't know why I'm doing Seath first. Probably just so I don't forget. <laughs> there have been so many times that I played this game where I just forgot Seath. And I'll like place the Lord Souls and then it won't open and I'll be so confused. And I'll remember that I never fought Seath. Seath is probably the most forgettable boss in the game. You hate Loretta? Loretta's like one of the only good fights in the game. <laughs> I really like the Florida boss fight, actually. Bonk. What kind of damage does the Grant do? Is it magic? It is magic. It'll be... I love split damage. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I assume the R2 is pure magic damage. Is Wrath of Gods... physical? I actually don't know. Easy. Yeah, learning bosses is the best part of playing with games, in my opinion. I love learning um, Pursuer. I don't know why I keep saying um. My brain just is not functioning. <laughs> I mean, it's not like four kings are going to be hard no matter what but they do have um does it do divine damage um anyway sorry four kings do have magic resistance but it's also just the four kings so as long as i do like mediocre damage it won't be hard stop it stop it the red wolves are so much worse than the red that's a very good take Red Wolves are some of the worst enemies in the game. Especially that random one, just like chilling uh, in the, like, Shiofra or whatever. Or the, near the ancient, or the regal ancestor spirit boss area. I don't think that's Shiofra, but it's in that underground area. Oops. I meant to jump attack, but I suppose that also works. Uh. That's fine. 
I need to not get cursed anyway. I could wear Solar's armor for four kings. However, the four kings aren't particularly difficult anyway to dodge anymore. Again, just because I played the game so much. In my first playthrough, though, I did absolutely poison them for several playthroughs. The Ancestral Woods. Yeah, that sounds right. I think the Grace is called the Ancestral Woods or something. I don't know. Um, there's a two-handed parry in Dark Souls 2 on the right here. I didn't know that. Oop, almost missed. Uh, it might. I don't know. Because the, the Scythe video didn't do wonderfully, but neither did the um, Life Hunt Scythe video. Which was one I was expecting to do well because so many wanted, people wanted to see it. So I think the algorithm just dropped me rather than the video actually not doing well. So, I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. Um, I don't know. It is a fun weapon, though. Don't get cursed. Okay, we're good. Can you explode? So I don't get cursed, please. Yeah, the grant is, is super cool. <laughs> That's why I wanted to use it. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot about the Consecrated Snowfields one. That one's so annoying. <clears throat> yeah, YouTube... YouTube's algorithm is... unknowable. <laughs> Seath was watching an ad? Oh, right, yeah. Because <laughs> he just didn't do anything. I didn't understand what you meant for a second. I've had this one attack me once ever. And I don't know why it attacked me. Uh, it was two days ago, I think. Um, I have no idea why it attacked me. It was out of nowhere. I've never seen it attack me before. Um, and I have no idea why. I know I didn't do anything differently. I parried the first one that always attacks you. And then the second one did a jump attack. Probably not a good idea. To do a backstab while I'm being ganked, but that's fine. Yeah, the the one in Lyernia or in Clintstone Academy, was it called? I don't remember. Uh, that one is annoying because you fight it at a lower level, but because it's only one, and it's the only enemy there, and it's not surrounded by rats or other wolves, it's not terrible. But I still don't like the fight. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, Ray Lucaria. I don't remember Elden Ring at all. <laughs> Can you not? Bonk. Bonk. Ugh. But the magic is what makes Loretta fun. She like combos them together and you have to like learn to dodge them properly and you have to like instead of anticipating it, you know when it's gonna come because it lines up with her attacks. And it's I don't know. I like Loretta. If you don't turn this off, I think it continues playing and you can hear it in the archives. I think having a more spacious room is better, honestly. Having all the random obstacles, like the the walls be so enclosed and like the desks and stuff in the debate hall. Not the desks, but I think there are tables on the side. Um, I think that makes it worse. I think it'd be better in a op more open space. Or in my experience, when I fought it, it was easier in an open space because it didn't just like slam you against a wall <laughs> or you didn't roll into a wall and then be stuck in its attack because of random debris. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna drink water while finding the water. Something, something. Still in a dream, Snake Eater. You're telling me you don't like Godafroy? <clears throat> And how you just 
fight Godric again out of nowhere for no reason. That's not your favorite part of the game. The only unique bosses are Radon and Melania, right? I mean, Morgoth, kind of. Um, oh, and I guess Horalu as well, and then Radigan and Elven Beast. Yeah, there aren't that many, though. What? What the? Huh? <laughs> Why did that triple hit me? What the hell? Oh, yeah, Fire Giant. I think the fact that I don't remember which bosses are unique is also kind of telling. Because <laughs> unique bosses aren't even that memorable. <laughs> the only memorable thing about Melania is her difficulty. And then Radon is how cool it is to have so many enemies, or so many allies in a giant boss fight. I'm going to use a humanity. What does Ellen Beast taste like? I don't know. Butterscotch, probably. Because it's like it makes glass noises, right? So it must be some sort of hard candy. I like butterscotch. I don't like Elden Beast, though. Hmm. Tastes like Werther's original. But with like a berry taste, too. Instead of just like being a normal Werther's original, it has like a berry filling. Instead of a caramel filling. Glass. <laughs> tastes like glass. Does glass have a flavor besides, like, blood? <laughs> I also don't think jelly has a flavor on its own. Ice cream kind of does. It's like a dairy flavor. And most of it's vanilla, I would assume. Everything has a flavor? I don't know that that's technically true. Because, like, glass doesn't give off any... Or it's not volatile whatsoever, is it? So it doesn't have a smell. And then... Uh, I assume because of that, it wouldn't have a flavor. Or for similar reasons. Well, that doesn't have a flavor. I guess it is kind of more the texture. Huh? I don't know. I've had boba once. I didn't like it. I don't like tea, so that's probably why. I liked the boba part. I didn't like the tea part. Sugarless sugar candy. <laughs> like uh, rock candy. Like butter? Like, like the nice butter flavor or just like actual butter? I wish I liked tea, because, like, I don't know, all tea has that, like, aftertaste of wet dog. <laughs> I've never had tea that didn't have that weird, gross aftertaste. Straight butter, <laughs> but it's textured like jelly. Would it be, like, extremely calorically dense, or is it, like, mystical and effervescent? Not effervescent, ephemeral. Pardon me? I like lemon. I don't know about lemongrass and ginger, though. I don't know. Tea, just because of the way it's made. Like, Thai tea has a really, really good, like, first initial note. But then after that, like, as it fades, it just gets worse and worse and tastes like wet dog. <laughs> One billion calories per bite. Yeah, of course I like lemon. That's, like, my whole brand. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh, <laughs> that's so fucked up. <laughs> Wombo combo. <laughs> I swear to God, clams. Please don't get in the arena. Ah, oh, two of them got in. How was it? Um, I, it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know if it. That was just the first impression I got when I first had tea. Um, like unsweetened tea. You know, I like seafood. Clam is not one of the seafoods I like, unfortunately. Sushi is, like, my favorite food, though. I know sushi isn't necessarily seafood. There's, like, 
Monogiri and stuff, but um, Unagi, Unagi sushi is so good. Oh my god. Oh, see, this isn't magic. This is gonna be an unnecessarily long fight. Especially if he doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna take forever. Ah! Okay. Everything's fine. I only have two Estes, so I'm gonna have to be like actually careful. <laughs> Can you not? Can you just do your crystal breath, please? Do your crystal breath, please. Thank you. Maybe I should jump attack. What's jump attack damage like? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> oh, an Ash of War that lets you cast spells. That would be so cool. What? Uh, it really should be better. It's a massive hammer. But it does kind of make sense because it does a lot of magic damage and Seath is very resistant to magic damage. So, I don't know. It makes sense that it's so low, but I really do wish it was higher as well. I should get Seath to turn around so I don't get crystal bursted into the corner. Okay. Attack? Okay, we're not, I guess. Attack. Seath, please. Seath. Seath, please. Seath. I swear to God. Oops. Uh, probably should look in the direction that I'm running. What enemies get killed semi permanently? We're talking about Texas too. <laughs> Did I miss something? Grass crush shield. That's such a. Why would you wear that armor set specifically? I wonder what the rationale behind that is. <clears throat> yeah, I like I like that enemies can eventually permanently despawn in Dark Souls too. I wish joining the Covenant of Champions respawned them instead of just making them not despawn. Does it respawn them? I actually don't remember. But then there's also bonfire aesthetics, so like, either way. Um, I'm gonna do needle. I didn't do it earlier because I was low level, but now that I actually, like, have health because I cheated it in, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do Nito. Cool. Um, Tomb of the Giants. Good Toxic Resistance. And if I do Divine Damage, this will be a really easy Nito fight. Hopefully, I don't run off a cliff seven times this time. Um, oh, uh, every time I mention it in the stream, a bunch of people join. So I have a Discord. It's linked in the description. So if you want to join a community mostly based around souls, among other things, especially like there are a lot of queer people. It's a very safe space. Uh, if you want to join that, link is in the description. Where am I? Okay, we're good. <laughs> and then second pillar, ramp down. Okay, see, I told you I wouldn't run off the cliff this time. I'm learning. <laughs> I shouldn't have to learn. I should know after how long I've played this game. But it's okay, everything's fine. What just died? Better question, how did it die? What? Huh? What died? <laughs> I assume that was a skeleton dog, right? That's how many souls they give you? How did it die? Oops. Nope, that's fine. I was about to take an innocent life and the universe stopped me. <laughs> the universe does not have as much sympathy for Solaire, apparently. Something, something, time is convoluted. He's not dead, actually. Anyway, it's fine.
<laughs> the, the, the grant is big. <laughs> it's the ceiling. That's fine. Oh, I should have got the wall frame. That's fine. The universe had mercy. It's not my fault that I missed it. Bonk. Uh oh. And we're back. I hate that it keeps disconnecting. Ugh. Ouchie. What would it be brutal? Did I say something? I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I'm very normal. Congratulations. Pursuer is down. Something, something. Welcome to Dark Souls. I don't know. I would say the real Welcome to Dark Souls 2 moment is um, when you... Or is the Ruin Sentinels, rather. Just like how the Gargoyles are the Welcome to Dark Souls 1 boss. Grant us eyes. Grant us eyes. I'll get the Hornet Ring, yeah. For Gwyn, if nothing else. Punk. Can I wear the Paladin set? Is it heavy? Yes. <laughs> it's very heavy. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, the Hornet Ring is, like, right there. There's no reason not to grab it. Especially since it makes Gwen so much easier. Um... Speaking of, actually, I'm going to do a bit of chaos just to get it over with. <laughs> not that I don't like a bit of chaos, but using the weapon. It's not that drippy. <laughs> oh, of course I disconnected. Uh, I said, or while it was disconnected, I said that the paladin set is not that drippy. I'd rather wear, wear the brass set if I'm going for that. Though I think that's just as heavy. Red of Quesos. <laughs> I mean, I could mix and match, but... I don't know, with the gold hem set? I could put on the pants. The pants are pretty light, actually. The paladin armor. Actually, that looks really good. I like that. I can't even wear just the armor. That's homophobic. Okay, I'll wear the pants. Oh god. <laughs> I was gonna back. No, of course. Why does it keep disconnecting now? I mean, it was disconnecting earlier too, but now it's disconnecting way more often. That's really frustrating. I really wish I could figure out why that's doing that so much. I have no idea why it's doing that, and I don't know how to fix it. Because my internet's good. I have gigabit. It's not like I have bad internet. It, like, disconnects for a second, and then OBS waits a full 10 seconds to try and reconnect. Is there a way to change that in OBS? Like, um, automatic reconnection timer? There probably is. Um, I am indeed goobing. In fact, I will goob all over the worm. The centipede worm thing. That is the perfect time to goob. <clears throat> did I re oops, did I repair the grant? No. I can goob once. Uh, no, it's it's definitely an internet thing, not a processing thing. I've changed my OBS settings so much. <laughs> my encoder never gets overloaded anymore. It used to. Um, but goobing means goobing. I don't know. That's all there is to it. We were talking about... I think we were talking about different words for stupid. Or we were talking about, <clears throat> like, medical connotations and how they're all negative and how like um comorbid because most autistic people or autism rather is com comorbid with certain things i don't remember what we were talking about specifically um and how medical words have negative connotations and how stupid used to be a medical word um and then we were talking about other words for stupid and then goober was one of them i think and then we started talking about goobing <laughs> And I goobed live on stream. Which I'm about to do again, in fact. <laughs> Someone keeps tapping the heart over and over. Or multiple people are tapping the heart. Oh, pardon me. 
Backstabs are very dopamine inducing. It's a very, I feel like Dark Souls 1 PvP is love it or hate it sort of thing. <clears throat> Oops, oh, God damn it. It's a love it or hate it sort of thing because, um, uh oh, come on, go. Okay, we're good. If you like doing backstabs, you're gonna like it. And if you just absolutely despise being stat backstabbed and don't enjoy doing backstabs, it's not gonna be very fun. I do have the goob ring equipped, yes. I kind of have to <laughs> for this thing. Uh, okay, automatic reconnects. Okay. I will change that for the next stream for sure. And if it keeps disconnecting, um, I will change it. Discord earlier today. You have a taxi video? Okay. Um, are you the person that joined today? I think only one person joined today. No strong opinions on Bed of Chaos. My strong opinion on the Bed of Chaos is that I like it, and I think it's fun. And I don't see why people hate it so much. It's not like my favorite boss in the game or whatever, but... Excuse me. I very strongly think that people should not dislike it as much as they do. And their dislike is a skill issue. Okay, it reconnected. I'm going to change the reconnection timer. Oops. Um, it, a lot of people dislike Dark Souls 2 because of skill issue as well. Okay, it's under advanced third section. Stream delay. Uh, oh, automatic reconnect. Here we go. Retry delay. I'm going to set it to three seconds. And okay. There we go. Hopefully, that should reduce the amount of time that I am disconnected. Yeah, latency abuse is extremely annoying, but I don't think that's like specific to Dark Souls 1. Obviously, Dark Souls 1 doesn't have perfect netcode, um, and some games can prevent that via netcode, but I forgot to repair... Ah, whatever. I'll break the grant for the goobage. <laughs> Reconnection successful. I set it to three seconds, and it's still seven seconds, so I think um, we're going to have to wait till next stream. Uh, for that to change, because OBS. That did no damage. Ugh. That's so annoying. And now I have no range for th ugh, this fight. Please don't. Okay, we're good. I hate Moog. I hate both Moog fights. They're so terrible. The fire being all over the place is annoying. I think um, Nihil is a terrible mechanic or terrible gimmick. His attacks are really annoying. They're not telegraphed very well. Um, <clears throat> his combos are annoying. I just don't like anything about the mug fight. There we go. I should repair the grants before I forget. There we go. The mug fight is one of the worst in Elden Ring, for sure. Yeah, Loretta's good. There's no, like, weird, strange delays or combos or whatever. It's just a pure fight where you're dodging melee attacks and magic. But you don't have to deal with garbage like Elden Beast. <laughs> or, um, I don't know, Fredigan's alright, actually. I like Fredigan. Ah, uh, my nose is Oh, a terrible time. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Why did why does my nose itch? Stop it. Okay. Oops. It's weird to be streaming this early. I forget that it's only five o'clock right now. Destroying this thing's toes. I mean yeah, the but it it doesn't happen whenever. There's a specific delay on it. But it's not like a delay that you constantly need to watch for like other bosses. Um, it's a delay that happens at the same time every time, but with a timer that you, like, can forget about for a second without worrying about it. It's not like rolling in circles the first time you fight Market for five minutes. Meanwhile, he's still holding a stick above his head and not doing anything. Essay? <laughs> Make an essay about why I don't like... or why I like Loretta. 
I mean, if it's like the first one you play, I understand <clears throat> why you would prefer it. Um, if that's how you got into this whole series and that's like the kind of combat you like. Um, I just don't like how Elden Ring does combat. I prefer how Dark Souls 1 does it. In your previous comment. Um, oh yeah, how people like the don't they're like backstabs but not necessarily the the way the latency is done. I don't like the fire giant fight only because it takes so long. <laughs> it's like a hard wall if you happen to not have like a pretty good weapon. Um like I used the claymore up to that point with the first time I played Elden Ring and was having a half decent time. Um but then I got to that fight and it was just the, the damage was so bad and I switched to the crystal sword and obliterated him. <clears throat> I do not like the fire giant. It's just, and like, even when you do have good damage, it's such a boring fight. Um, the roll hitboxes are weird. The fire is awful. <laughs> the grant is your favorite weapon? I understand that. It's not as bad as I was expecting with how low the AR is and how bad split damage is in this game. But it's... It's fun. It's cool. Which is why I'm using it in the first place. I understand why it's your favorite. Well, I hate fire in Elden Ring because it sucks. <laughs> Have you fought any dragon at all in Elden Ring? Except for, like, Placidus Axe? Can you come? Why are you running away? <clears throat> Watch it do that in phase two and use its stupid fireball attack that it never uses ever. <laughs> okay, that's so cool. The Shodal. The shuttle is only good for PvP, though. Oh. I don't know. It's fine for PvE, but... Not phase two? There we go. Oops. <laughs> uh, do I, I still fast roll, right? Yeah, okay. It is kind of gimmicky, but like, it goes around shields. So if 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 the person that you're fighting isn't like really good at parrying or whatever, it's pretty useful. I don't want to do a whip only playthrough. I have to do that for the literally everything video, and I don't want to do it outside of that. <laughs> I didn't know you were into that. <laughs> Why is Dark Souls the thing that brings that out in people? <laughs> yeah, turtle, turtle players are really annoying to fight against. <laughs> um, Dragon Slayer armor is not a player, but it's just as annoying. I don't know. The dragon fights aren't terrible in Elden but the fire just behaves so weird. It's so hard to predict and understand, and it just, like, if it hits a bit of terrain, it'll just go in whatever direction it feels like. It's so frustrating. <clears throat> Loud Shrek build. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, I didn't say anything while I was disconnected because I actually noticed that it disconnected this time. Fire particles? What's wrong with the fire particles? Like, they're not, like, great, but they get the job done. Sexy party solar. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, I agree that Dragon Slayer armor is good in terms of Dark Souls 3 bosses. Um, but I don't think it's fun to fight against just because of how often it turtles. Like, not even Mirror Knight turtles that much. And that's a game where it seems like turtling would be more common from the bosses. I don't know. Especially without... Oh, there's... A, I forgot that was there. <laughs> I was looking away. Especially with how, like, fast all the bosses are in Dark Souls 3. Dragon Slayer armor is also fast, and it's also aggressive, but it still, um, it still hurdles so much. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I don't blame you for knowing nothing about Dark Souls 3. Sexy party solar plots? I don't like parties. <laughs> Probably sexy, but... <laughs> 
not good at partying. Yeah, I don't like being whipped. Whip, being whipped sucks. <laughs> I don't like sharp pain. Granted, I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm more sensitive to pain generally because autism, but. Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean about Bear Knight. Like the boss with the giant shield doesn't turtle. <laughs> um, and like when it is just blocking, you can navigate around it. And I think that's really interesting and cool. But the, the, what's his name? Dragon Slayer Armor doesn't give you that luxury. It turns too fast because Dark Souls 3 pace. I don't like parties because of autism as well, actually. <laughs> Very overstimulating. Lots of people. But I have everything but the Bed of Chaos and um, uh, Four Kings. Oh. oh, we're back. There was no sliding sound while I was sliding. Is there a normally a sliding sound or am I just going insane? Both are also, or both is also an option. <laughs> Three rolls? It usually takes me more rolls than that. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it came through which Lord Souls I've gotten. I've gotten everything other than the Four Kings. Yeah, the sliding sound just didn't play while I was hiding. I don't know how much of the slide was streamed or how much of it cut out. Yeah, no sliding sound. <laughs> just completely silent. I've never noticed sound bugs in Dark Souls 1. That's the first one I've ever seen. Or at least that I've, like, noticed. I'm sure there have been some that I just, like, haven't been paying attention to. I don't usually have sound when I play because I'll be, like, listening to a video essay or whatever. The sliding sound myself. Good idea. I don't think... Well... I was gonna say I don't think Remastered is buggier than Prepare to Die, but um, most of the bugs in Prepare to Die come from sounds. Was that supposed to go otherwise? Anyway, um, most of the bugs in Prepare to Die come come from the mod. The Grants is better than I anticipated, <laughs> especially with its split damage. It feels oddly quiet, and I can't really put my finger on why. Yeah, Dragon Tooth Magic. That's a good way to put it. And because split damage is garbage in this game, the grant becomes significantly worse than the Dragon Tooth. It's more like the Dragon King Great Axe, though, isn't it? Like, same moveset as the Dragon Tooth, but it also has the R2 of the Dragon King Great Axe, but worse. <laughs> Lower range, more durability damage. Welcome, Mayonetta. <laughs> yeah, I started streaming earlier today because a lot of people who watch me watch in the East Coast, or are in the East Coast, and I don't want to make people stay up till 1 a.m. <laughs> it's not bad in PvE, but uh, because of how it works in, or I mean in PvP, wait. I thought you said PvP, and I was going to agree, uh, but it, it does suck <laughs> in PvE. That's why... A Star Straight Sword is so bad, because it's, what, like 400 AR on split damage? <laughs> I imagine it's better for me to go earlier for Europeans too, right? <clears throat> Not sure. I don't know time zones. <laughs> no. I have so much stamina. This is so much stamina. I hardly ever have this much stamina when I play the game. Antarctica. <laughs> oh, it's 2 a.m. Darn. But it's split. Oh, we're back. Um, what did I say while I was gone? Uh, 2 a.m. right now. It's better than streaming at 3 a.m. Starting at midnight or whatever. No, I've been streaming. Yeah, midnight. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's split AR. So regardless of how high it is, it's not going to be a great damage because it goes through two defense checks. So it's not 
it's not gonna do as much okay we're back again i guess it disconnected that's so cool that's awesome thanks obs <laughs> I used Firestorm when I got on the branch, but I avoided it entirely somehow. 7 p.m. for you? That would be... Central time? <clears throat> yeah, because I, I imagine it's better for you to start watching it live or whatever instead of watching, starting watching it 9 or 8 or 9 or whatever. Let me rest. <laughs> uh, Sift time. Morns is the grant of Dark Souls 3, right? And it does pure physical instead of split physical magic. I really need to figure out how to get rid of that heart thing so I can actually see the whole chat. Maya. I'm sorry, I don't remember names. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times I see the name. It doesn't matter if I associate you with the name and not a look. I just do not remember names. <laughs> I have not said it's hammer time, but it is hammer time. It's also goobing time. It's goob hammer time. <laughs> you can't get rid of the heart. That's so annoying. Um, I might be able to resize the chat thing, though. <clears throat> True, it is hearts. I do see it going off a lot. First time I mentioned it in this, in this stream, um, it was spammed for the entire rest of the stream. <laughs> Maybe if I gooped harder, that's such a good idea. Let me see if I can oops, resize the chat window real quick. Um, there we go, I think. I resized it. Yeah, names are unimportant anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna goob on Sif. <clears throat> See if it's good damage at all. I should be drinking more water, but I'm just not, because ADHD. <laughs> ah, we're good. Everything's fine. The Sorcerer is the scariest one, because it's the only one that hits me consistently. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte, you haven't been reminding me. That's why I haven't been drinking water. <laughs> this isn't my fault at all. I've got an RTSR off that ledge in a... um. Hyper mode build playthrough before. It was awful. Welcome, Vivi. Um, you missed me getting the grants and killing three of the four lords, but I still have the DLC to do. And I'm going to do the DLC with this weapon. Uh, at least, you know, up through like Artorias and Manus. I might not do Kalamite. This is true. You didn't tell me. He would remind me often. Yeah, so I have four kings left and then the DLC where I like actually get to try out the weapon. <laughs> Damn it. And we're back, at least temporarily. Um, I used the mace before the grant. Like, I used it until I got the grant. I had it at plus 10 up to ONS, and then I ran and grabbed the grant. I don't know if I have time to goob on Sif, actually. <laughs> I've never heard that sound before. What? I've never heard that damage sound effect. That's not terrible damage. I mean, for 200 durability, that's pretty terrible. But all things considered, that's not the worst. Oh, okay. Considering the fact that I can't jump attack Sif very well, goobing is probably better. 24-hour stream? No, thank you. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do, like, a subathon style thing, but... For now, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> oh, I should have killed with a goob! Yeah, it's 200 durability of the 600 of the weapon. It's awful. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna drink water. That sounds like a good idea.
I don't think it's 200,000. Exactly. But it's close to that amount. Let's see. <laughs> it costs 400 souls for one goob. Oh my god, cutting off Sif's tail? Why would you even <laughs> that up? <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I did drink water. I just drank water. Oops, uh-oh. I set my controller down and I accidentally tapped the B button. Because I was going to take another drink of water. In this economy? That's so true. <clears throat> I'll drink more water. Ouch. I hit my elbow against the wall. <laughs> it's a tap. <laughs> Sif isn't a real wolf. Sif is a furry. He told me to drink water earlier. <clears throat> and I was just... Um, I was doing that. But the last time he told me. I don't know. Dark Souls 1 isn't that gross most of the time. I mean, like, this area is. Uh, I think Dark Souls 2 has a lot of yuckier looking things. Um, Dark Souls 2... Sorry, Dark Souls 3 is too boring to be yucky. Bloodborne does yucky pretty well, though. Sif is a giant in a fursuit. <laughs> That's how she's able to do the um, all the, like, flips and stuff. She's not an actual dog. She's just sticking her hands out the mouth of the fursuit. <clears throat> Bloodborne is very, very good at yucky. Orphan of Cost, yeah. Jeez. The the cutscene for Orphan of Cost where like the the flesh like slides out from under its cape off its hip. Bad, all things considered. I don't know. I think Orphan is worse. Um the one reborn. I forgot about the one reborn. That one's pretty gross too. <laughs> Imagine if New London Ruins was just completely abandoned. Uh, no, please. It was just completely abandoned. Um, with no enemies whatsoever. I think that would be way cooler than having the ghosts. Ooh, please, no. Please, let me up. No, please. <laughs> please. <clears throat> I think the atmosphere that would give would be really cool. Like, maybe bring the ghosts back once you train it or whatever. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry, I slipped. Not bad. This Ludwig makes a squishy sound? <clears throat> I don't recall. Excuse me. Why are there so many, like, in this hallway? <laughs> I've never seen so many in that hallway. <laughs> Transient curses that are used like the pendant? What do you mean used like the pendant? Like the silver pendant? Wait, I don't need this. What am I doing? <laughs> Drop my big hammer on you. Sorry. Sorry, accident. Yeah, nothing. Ex what? How did you can come this far away? I didn't know that ghost could move that far. Oh, I see. So, like, transient curse. Right, okay. Pardon me? Just gonna go ahead and do some drinkies. Um, actually, bone. Yeah, but the ghost's not existing until draining New Londo would make New Londo a lot better and cooler. <laughs> uh, faith or intelligence? I prefer intelligence. I don't know why. Uh, I just like the spells better. That said, I do really like Wrath of God and Emit Force. Those two are really cool. I need to put this on before I forget. Drink water? Good idea. I have drink water. <clears throat> Super duper Omega Epic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... You can do that in this game. I can't put on the paladin set. It'll make me fat roll. <laughs> it's extremely heavy. I can put on the pants if I have Havel's ring on. Uh, 
The problem with pushing the skeletons off the cliff is they revive, <laughs> and then they'll be down there with the bone wheels. So when you get down there, it's just way worse. <laughs> I mean, forking shouldn't be too hard. It is fun, I agree. I guess if you kick them down and then rest at the second bonfire, but I never ever rest at the second bonfire. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you build a magic build, well, yeah. If you use like t uh, 10 crystallization catalyst with like dark bead, then yeah. <laughs> but. Up until you get Crystal Soul Spear, magic isn't insanely powerful. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong, especially for being ranged, but it's not broken. Havel's Ring is a very, very good ring. I don't think it's, for, for my personal choice in builds, um, I don't think it's the best ring. I would say that goes to RTSR. But Havel's Ring is a very, very good ring, and I understand why you think it's the best. Oh, too far. <laughs> Coughing baby versus hydrogen bomb. I don't know. I feel like um, Sif doesn't have a very good chance there. Oops. That is not great damage. Especially if the, the attack bunch. I don't know. It's not bad. Actually. Especially with how much stamina I have. <laughs> Rest in peace, this character's neck. Why is their neck so far forward? What? <laughs> okay, this is pretty good damage. I was worried for nothing. Not that I was super worried to begin with. Learning Artorias. Or Artorias is one of the harder bosses to learn. Once you do learn him... Oh, I'm back. I disconnected. I didn't even realize. Um, I don't blame you for cheesing Artorias. He's one of the harder bosses to learn. I don't remember what else I said while I was disconnected. Uh. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> no, darn. Just short. Hey Trev, how's it going? I'm not streaming on the moon. I disconnected again? Why? <laughs> Moon is pretty cool, but unfortunately, I am not there. Heavy Soul Spear Stagger is in one hit? I, mean, I guess that's why there's a second Gargoyle. <laughs> Though, yeah, that does make it a lot easier. There you go. I really wish it would stop disconnecting randomly. Um, where am I? There I am. DLC time. Rip me, you will be missed. Did your in did, uh, it might might have been my internet dying, not yours. Uh, I'm gonna place the or, or put the souls in the word vessel. Making some mods. That sounds interesting. <laughs> what does that entail? <laughs> if you're willing to share, yeah. Or if you want to keep it a secret until you finish. Dark beat is a joke? As in they put it in the game to make the game easy as a joke? Or as in it's not actually that powerful joke? <clears throat> Alright, um, you'll see time. Oh, really? Are you actually making that? I'm really excited for that. I'll do a playthrough using just the dragon headstones when you finish that. That sounds actually really fun. <laughs> I know I haven't fought any optional bosses. I skipped um, Capra, Gaping, Priscilla, and Gwendolyn, but I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, that's really exciting. That sounds really fun. What's wrong with Dark Bead? Why is that insane? <laughs> ah, yeah, it's a prank. That <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Balance is for nerds. <laughs> Don't balance it. <laughs> I say as I am a massive nerd. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't think balance is super important. It's not like the base game is balanced anyway. Um, I think it would be fun to just melt bosses if you use the correct element against them. I think that'd be really cool. But, you know, also if you want to keep it balanced and like them not insanely overpowered. But the base dragon headstone isn't exactly incredible either. So, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to try to balance it around the actual, like, base dragon headstone. Or if you're going to try to balance it such that the base dragon headstone is, like, actually usable. <laughs> Dark Beat does have completely reasonable damage if you have minimum stats and are using the Isolith Catalyst. What's horrible? Uh, the base dragon headstone? Or the dragon headstones in your mod? I mean, I feel like it's kind. Of, it's not like insanely difficult to dodge um, Dark Bead. Can you use the Silver Pendant in PvP against Dark Bead? Yeah, the base one sucks. I wish it was better. Because I know, I think it's the Backlogs did a challenge run where they just used the Dragon Headstone, and that sounds awful. <laughs> Jeff, can you? Whatever whatever the most powerful dragon headstone is, can you add an Ulu sound effect to it? You can use a silver pendant in PvP? Is that what that is a response to? Because if so, that's really cool and really fun. Yeah, magic is very slow in PvP. Uh, so it's not like super insanely difficult to dodge. But if you do land a hit with it, GG's. <laughs> Um, I mentioned this in the Life on Scythe video, but I think, uh, I think Sanctuary Guardian is becoming just like my favorite Dark Souls boss in the entire series. Yeah, it makes sense that it only reflects dark magic. That's kind of what I figured. Oops, uh oh. <laughs> Goodbye durability. You'll be missed. <laughs> anyway, um, Sanctuary Guardian is becoming one of my favorite bosses, if not my outright favorite boss in all of Souls, just because of how fun it is to fight. It has like the dancer thing where it's nearly a dance with how how you dodge and then are able to immediately hit it and if you know the moveset you can get in extra hits. Damn it, I tried to jump attack again. I'm gonna break my weapon in the middle of the fight. <laughs> what? Please don't do that. There we go. Jump attack. That, oh my god, that's good damage. <laughs> I don't know. I really like the Sanctuary Guardian. It's really fun. Like, barely getting in a hit before it jumps away. Um, after a combo and stuff. I have not played Arch Thrones. Uh, I mentioned this earlier in the stream. I've mentioned this a couple times, actually. I just don't like Dark Souls 3. And a lot of the movesets that they put in the trailer, like the Crucible Knight moveset or... Um, the Godskin Apostle moveset, um, my friend, or I watched my friend play it, and there was, like, an Orphan of Cost Phase 2 moveset on a random enemy. That just doesn't seem fun to me, because I don't like any of those movesets. Um, I don't like Dark Souls 3 anyway, so, I don't know, I'm not interested in it. They use the Sanctuary Guardian attack patterns. That's, I might have to give it a shot. <laughs> jump attack, jump attack. <laughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, goodbye, Charlotte. He was sent that at the worst time. Because <laughs> I was in the middle of the fight. Yeah, if you... Or if you get staggered or something in PvP and Dark Beat is pulled out. Nice one, peace. Well, yeah, but that's what's so much fun about the Sanctuary Guardian. If you dodge them well, you can punish them, and that's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I probably won't play it, to be honest. The uh, Arch Thrones mod, just because... Like, just because I was one enemy that I like, you know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just don't like Dark Souls 3, or most of the other things. I will attempt to beat Artorias with a goob, but it's also very, very slow, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. <laughs> Ouchie! I hardly ever get hit by them. Yeah, I only watch Backlog's videos 
I would watch his streams if they weren't so, if there weren't so many viewers. Um, but I watch his videos because of the concept and less because of him. There are a couple instances in where in which I think his personality makes the challenge run so much more interesting, like the um, the emulation only Dark Souls two video. But like I don't watch his Salt and Sanctuary videos because I don't like Salt and Sanctuary that much, so I'm not interested in those challenge runs. Yeah, if, if Sanctuary Guardian spams projectiles, it's a lot less fun. Um, but once you learn how to dodge the projectiles consistently and just kind of wait them out, it's not awful. <laughs> yeah, interacting is the best part of streams. I totally agree. And not being able to kind of ruins the point of it being a stream. Does Goff emit daddy energy? He's a himbo. Goff is a himbo. Like, he's blind because they put pine resin in his mask. <laughs> I don't think... That's more himbo than anything. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like big streams because, like, there are instances in which big streams... Okay, we're back. Uh, I was saying... I think big streams can be fun because the chat becomes a conglomerate. Conglomerate. Um, and that can be fun to participate in, but largely I don't think, or I think interacting one-on-one -on -one is a lot more interesting, and having your specific points heard is a lot more fun, personally. There we go. Artorias has a pretty cool intro, but I don't think it's the coolest. I think Manus is is cooler. Um, Calamites is cooler, if you count, like, the being shot down. <laughs> That's like the coolest cutscene in the game. Okay, just barely. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh oh. Get goobed. Uh, pocket abyss. You would? Goff? I don't know, Goff is too big. I don't think I would, to be honest. Like, oh. Okay, looks like I'm not killing Artorias with, like, with a goob. <laughs> um, to, to a point, I like big. Like, Priscilla, you know? But not Goff. Goff is too big. And also, Goff is a guy. So that's a, another big negative. Stop it! Let me heal! Jeez. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll just not get hit too big in imagination <laughs> i mean i suppose not oh oops <laughs> i goobed on accident <laughs> plus 10 mace i can do this this is fine <laughs> i just need to be careful oh that's not that bad, actually. I was expecting much worse damage. Now that my weapon doesn't break from pressing the R2 button on accident. Two hits? What? Okay. Mace is so much better than I thought it was. I've been sleeping on the mace. Ugh. I'm sorry. Artorias hit me because I was sleeping on the mace. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't have any repair powder. I didn't grab any because I didn't think I would accidentally goob too many times. Yeah, Artorias is very tall. I don't know. I, I don't... I like big to the point where they can comfort me, not to the point where they can crush me. <laughs> Laryngeus is a bottom. <laughs> Um, I could... You're saying I should make a stream-only channel? And I think the problem with that is getting the horde that I'm streaming on that channel out there. Um, I stream on here because... I mean, I could make, like, a VOD channel to upload the VODs, but um, YouTube puts them in a separate category anyway, so I don't think that's really necessary. Um, and people are subscribed to this channel, so I'm streaming here. It already has a following. Um, and the people who watch my videos, you know, would be more likely to watch my stream anyway. Sometimes fun to cross the line for big. <laughs> I 
No, uh, I am very normal and don't have mommy issues at all. So comfort is like my biggest thing. The weapon art is Wrath of the Gods, basically. <laughs> it's literally just Wrath of the Gods. And I would use it, but I don't want to break my weapon. How many times have I streamed? Uh, this is my, like, fourth? Fourth or fifth? I don't remember. I don't stream very often. Uh, I stream once a week, but before that I didn't stream very often. I did stream, like, not Dark Souls a lot uh, back when I did video essays more often, but... Yeah, I, I really, really like physical touch. That's like my main thing as well. I don't know if I call it a love language just because the concept of love languages is really, um, I don't know, we're not debatable, but same idea as that word. <laughs> uh, but I do very much like physical touch. Bonk. Yeah, I'm shocked that this has so many viewers already. <laughs> Um, the fact that my nothing video blew up as well is insane. Um, that I have a video over 100,000 views is insane to me. I never thought I would get there. Um, that I have 4,000 subscribers, that's insane. The 4,000 people were like, hell yeah, this girl has some good content. <laughs> yeah, um, I have OCD and autism and trauma, so comfort is very nice. I don't think I would consider myself famous. <laughs> like, E-list micro-celebrity at best. <laughs> but it is really cool to have a lot of people here um, indulging in one of my personal favorite pastimes. Just sharing that experience with people is so much more fun than doing it on my own. Wow, that's so cool. My favorite pastime. <laughs> like, I... I, I the thing is, I do really like my content, um, and I put a lot of effort into it. I want it to be good, and I do think I make good content, but I didn't think my content would be considered good widely. Um, I make the kind of content that I like to see, right? Because I don't see it very often, but because I don't see it very often, I don't expect it to be wanted by very many people. Yeah, truly a Dark Souls moment. <laughs> I don't know, like, I'll, there, I have so many videos of mine that I'll just go back and watch. I'll be going through, oh, I'm back, I died again. Uh, I'll be going through my old content, um, and I'll, like, watch an old, or I'll see an old video, I'll be like, oh, that's a cool concept, I should watch that, because I don't remember making it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, or it's not that I don't remember making it, I remember making it, I remember the content of the video, but it's, it's like re-experiencing it, I don't know. I just like watching my old content sometimes. Not like orange juice old, but like um, like my death door, no role playthrough or whatever. Yeah, I don't think uh, I would enjoy my content as much if I didn't enjoy making it. Um, but then I don't think I would carry the same energy and it would just be different content anyway. So I don't know. Every single Dark Souls weapon? Well, I mean, using those weapons with restrictions. I do want to do a literally everything run, and I'm working on that. <laughs> but that's going to take a very, very, very... Uh, no, please! A very long time. <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> I'm begging you. That's going to take a very long time, and I do want to do that. Um, I would guess it's going to take well over a year, probably closer to two years. Uh, but because I did the literally nothing video, I think literally everything would be really fun as like a exact opposite of that kind of thing. Okay, reconnected. Um, see you later, Vivi. Thank you for joining the stream. Hope you have a good night. Yeah, I think I think the passion that goes into a lot of projects, um, when they're made purely out of passion and not necessarily the desire to I like making other people... Oh, I'm back. <laughs> I like making content. I was saying that I like making content because um, I like making things that people can enjoy. I like making people happy, like making people have fun, including myself, obviously. Um, and that passion does put a lot towards the character of my content. Um, but even if I was just making it for, ev for other people, uh, I think I would still enjoy it, even if I didn't enjoy the process of content creation uh, itself. Please don't. 
Please don't. Okay, we're good. Uh, literally everything would mean, or what I want to do is get everything, like all the weapons, all the non-consumables, all the spells, all the armor sets, all the catalysts, um, in, in like one or two new games, and then using every single weapon for each new game cycle. That's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, <laughs> I'll wake up my router. I love backshot hit backshots. That's um, a sex thing. <laughs> Typically, just right in the toes. That is not great damage. <clears throat> yeah, um, there are ninety-seven, I think. Oops, goob. That's better damage than I was anticipating. Um, yeah, this is not great damage, but it's not the worst damage I've ever used against Sism. Asylum only was worse. And I had less health, so I died in one hit. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're good. Everything's fine. I'm dead. Is the audio broken? Uh, I know people have issues like on their end with the audio sometimes, um, but if it is on my end, if everyone's experiencing that, I don't know what that would be. I wouldn't know how to fix it right now, especially in the middle of a boss fight. I am absolutely not doing every infusion. I'm sorry, Trev. <laughs> uh oh, I was expecting combo. I hate that combo because it can just go on indefinitely. I've seen him cross the entire arena with that one combo. I am shocked I dodged that at such close range. <laughs> Can you not? Right in the toes. Uh oh. God damn it. That better not kill me. No. Oh, I'm so upset. I hate that. <laughs> combo sucks. Manus' combo is one of the worst attacks in the game. Just because if you attack at all, ever, from neutral, you're just dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Of every single weapon? Or just... Oh, right, okay. So, like, you do a speedrun for one weapon... And then you do, as a different thing, a speedrun for another weapon. Not like getting all the weapons maxed out in a single character. <laughs> that would be a very different thing. Okay, uh, glad to know that the audio is better for you now. God, I don't like Manus. I understand why people like him. I really do. But I just do not like Manus. I get it. I want to like him. I understand your love. For those of you who like Manus, but I just do not share. I cannot indulge in the same uh, things you enjoy. Okay, we're back. Uh, one, getting all of them on one character is pretty crazy. That's a lot. You were gone for, I don't know. It's been, I mean, it's a two and a half hour stream. But if you came during the Gargoyles, just looking at the chat. Oh, we're back. I shouldn't have been looking at the chat uh, during that. Uh, you could just dupe if you're I mean if it's like a speed run glitches I think would be okay I would dupe slabs personally because otherwise you'd have to go into like a lot of new games if you didn't want to just grind um oops what are they called dark rates over and over I need to pay attention to the boss <laughs> I can't look at chat right now I killed Manus without getting hit with the Black Knight Sword at plus three. This isn't that bad. Yeah, duping is very, very easy in this game. I like it. Um, I think it makes replaying the game easier. Is this a combo? No. Right in the toes. 
Okay, so every time I try to punish that, he does a combo. Oh, good. Okay, don't attack out of neutral, Ruby. Come on, this isn't that hard. You've beaten this boss without taking damage before. It's not... It's not that complicated. Five hours of sleep does not do the body well. What just happened? Huh? What? What just happened? <laughs> okay, I'm very glad I've learned to dodge that without the pendant. Oh, that's a storm. Everything's fine. The worst one. Again. <laughs> Storm is the worst one because it's the only one that doesn't offer you a moment of reprieve afterward. You just kind of get attacked and then that's it. There's no like moment to attack him or whatever. The ring is the best one because it gives you the most time to attack him afterward. Or even during. I always do it uh, with the mouse and controller. Oh, damn it. <laughs> if you have a mouse and a controller connected, then it's very, very easy to do. That's how I do it. I don't know of any other methods. Or I know there's like the brightness menu method, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, of course, there's a combo. The worst combo he has. What? Stop having instant... Recoveries, what's happening? No glitches might be more interesting. Um, but it also would be less fun. I don't know if it'd be more interesting, honestly. Because if you're showing off, like, how to do something as fast as possible, again, with the speedrun ethos, um, that's why, like, Catalysts, uh, or, sorry, Tomato Anus, I think, is what I'm thinking of. Oh. Does, um, his videos do pretty well. Because he, like, describes the crazy glitches that speedrunners do. Nice. One more. I don't remember if that has a follow-up. I'm going to not get greedy <laughs> on the final hit of a fight that's already taken me longer than it should. There we go. Uh, Butcher knife is your favorite weapon? Mine is a scythe. Oh, God, prepare to die. Duping sucks. I need to wake up desk. It's just part of my brand. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Thanks for that shout out on the community post. I was not expecting that. That was really cool. <laughs> People want to see how long this. I don't think suffering itself is really interesting. To people like i don't know uh, i think the, the process is the cool part i don't know how much that extends to like the majority of people but most people that i know personally prefer the process I'm glad uh, I can make content that people enjoy. That's what I'm really going for, I guess. <laughs> uh, I should repair real quick. Just happy to see Frampt. Frampt is pretty interesting to witness. <laughs> I don't know if I would be glad to witness Frampt personally. But I can't say I'm adverse to it. Interesting to look at. Interesting visual. See, now, this stream... Where am I? Uh, like, three hours. I don't... Like, I know I skipped, like, four bosses. But they were bosses that take, like, 20 minutes? Yeah. Um, the Astora Straight Sword stream, I didn't even do the DLC. I did Sanctuary Guardian, I think. But that took, what, four hours? Uh, the Scythe stream was a... And the Ricard's Rapier stream also both took four hours. Wait, no, the side stream was my first one. That took like three and a half hours. The Star Straight Sword one and the... 
uh, Ricard's rapier one both took like four hours. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why it takes a seemingly random amount of time to do a stream. Grant secretly OP. I don't know that it is. It's a lot better than I was expecting, and I think worst hammer uh, is incorrect now. Or worst cool hammer is incorrect now. But, I don't know. It's not like Dragon Tooth crazy. I'm glad to have. Welcome, Dolphin. I'm glad I can make videos you enjoy. Jeez. <laughs> I tried to say like four things at once and it didn't work. <laughs> Grant is the new meta. <laughs> I feel like the Blacksmith Giant Hammer is better than the Grant, and that also has split damage. I don't know if it's higher potential AR, though, actually. Like, so level 1, obviously, it's better, but I don't know about scaling. Well, Bla Vama's Hammer is one of the worst weapons in the game. It's uninfusible, unbuffable, um, and it's split damage, right? So, obviously, the Vama's Hammer is the worst in the game. But... Um, it's not like this one is, like, incredible or whatever. Can I goob? <laughs> I goobed. <laughs> yeah, that's how, that was a much, much quicker stream. You were here. <laughs> well, er, congratulations on being here. I'm gonna break my weapon, because it's funny. Um, I don't know. The, the Grant's fun. I like it. It's better than I was expecting. I don't think it would do very well if you took it into a higher new game cycle. Like new game plus, new game plus two, whatever, it'd probably be fine. But by the time you get into the latter half of the new game cycles, it would probably be pretty awful. Uh, I'll kill Asylum Demon. Can you repair at, asi at the Asylum Bonfire? Yeah, Vamos is much, much worse. The Grant is a pretty rare weapon because uh, you get it so late. You have to be human to get it. Um, it's, I don't know, it's only useful if you, like, specifically build around it. And because, you know, you get it so late, most people aren't going to be building around it. So it makes sense that the Grant is one of the rarer weapons in Dark Souls. Yeah, that's what I do in my videos. Uh, the Gwen fight isn't super interesting. If I can repair here, I cannot. Okay, well, <laughs> the Asylum Demon shall be spared today. Yeah, especially the Tomb of the Giants being human there. Um, after placing the Lord Vessel, and I don't know, Grant's just such a weird thing to get. Okay, we're back. Uh, Gwen is only difficult when you don't know how to parry. When you spend two hours learning to parry in your first playthrough, um, it gets pretty easy. I'm just raising the hammer because I think it's a funny animation when there's no explosion. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for being here, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, how hard did I have to goob for this stream? Really hard. I goobed very, very hard for this stream. Um, but it, it wasn't something that I had to do. It was just something that I desired to do because, I don't know, I enjoyed this stream. Yeah, Gwen is supposed to be easy because he's like burnt to a crisp, right? <laughs> he's fallen. He's not... He's far, far past his prime, like Vendrick in Dark Souls 2. Yeah. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for interacting and chatting. It was a lot of fun. And I'm going to start streaming at 3 on Wednesdays instead of 6. Um, what time is it now? I got to know what time it is before I end the stream. I love this animation without the explosion. Is it goob time? Is that what time it is now? It does kind of look like chicken. Oh, okay. I guess I don't know what time it is. <laughs> uh, I love you all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And.